we would like to talk about the 30 percent payment we've been taking from our clients we started in april which we had a little concerns and we would like to address it. i think mr felix is basically into that department and he is going to best explain to us what measures has been put in place for that so kindly let us know what okay, thank you, you very think. much madam uh, i think uh let me explain from one angle before i get there okay um with the finance department we actually came up with this idea because yeah. um, there are clients who actually ship packages and the, pack, the package gets to Ghana, they should come for it, it becomes uh, problem. problematic. Yeah. So what we do is that we ask you to pay some portion, that is the commitment fee, we are we are taking 30%. So now we ask you to pay a commitment fee, then when the packages come, you subtract, it's not that we subtract the amount you paid from the total bill we are giving you, the you pay the balance yes yeah, so yes. you pay you pay the balance payable but then then you, you just come and pay and then take your package away so it's not that we we want you to pay before we ship your item but this is what we are going through and then mind you we are working with cities and then it depreciates once dollar goes up it means the money is also depreciated so if you should keep your packages here for two months madam we are working with money we are working with money and then you can't keep our money whilst we pay duty we were able to pay for the cost of you know everything yeah. and then you don't come for the packages where do we get the money from to you know finance other continents but some clients would say i always pay make payments when the item arrives immediately even sometimes i pay before you even send uh, you deliver the items to ghana or immediately the item arrives i even make down payments so why does it affect me because we've had instances like that whereby they'll call customer service she'll come to me i need to talk to the client to understand so we want to give them a fair view of what that also means to, to ensure everyone understands the system we are not saying because of one client every client should suffer so you get so kindly give us more clarity so we, on that i i think to every rule there's an exception okay so there are exceptions to the rule but the thing is that generally that is what we are doing because it, it, it's making our work very difficult. So we are saying that if you take something to the warehouse and then we value it and then we know that, okay, probably this is the amount you are going to pay and then, we, okay, this is such a person, okay, then pay commitment fee and then we load your package. It's not that the, that money is part of the total payable. So when the package comes, maybe probably you are supposed to pay 6000 in all. When it comes, maybe you you've paid two thousand already, so you pay the balance of four, four time you come for your. Well, what if the dollar rate has increased? As of then, it was six thousand, okay, and she, he paid two thousand, and it's left with four thousand. Mm -hmm. The item gets to Ghana, dollar rate is higher than what she paid for. Okay. That means the amount will change. It can even be more than the six thousand total amount here she was so supposed to pay. When the person is making the commitment fee, you're not going to charge the person with the uh, the dollar rate at that time. You're just making put an amount down yes. first you know okay you're committed to your package so yes. when a package arrives that's where we're going to do the whole calculation and did that the that amount, that amount okay. from, it. from it is i think we need to make it more clearer to our viewers here because i we really want them to think we are someone made a statement that we are starting from them because we told them this is it and then now the item arrives we are giving them an amount which is more than even the total so amount we, we gave them from the start because so some clients, okay um i think i gave one Client an update and he said anytime the package arrives in Ghana he always make payments on time and also he said that he doesn't want, he want to p make payments when the package arrives he wants to use that current dollar rate so um so when when we give you an update and you ask you to pay commitment fee you're not going to use the dollar rate at that at time the, yes okay. at the time to calculate and give to you no you're just making a down payment maybe um when the package arrives it's supposed to be like six thousand Ghana cities and when we give an update, we ask you, okay, pay 2000 down. Then later, when package arrives and do all the calculation, they'll just do the uh, deductions. Deduction. Mm -hmm. So okay. it's still the same. But so basically, our dear viewers, we want you to understand that we are only taking down payments so that when the item arrives, we give you the total mm -hmm. amount as per the CBM of your item based on the current dollar rate then you pay we deducted from that amount you paid you deduct the amount you paid from 
the total amount to give you your balance your balance payable yeah. so we are clarifying this here kindly take note and then there, there are terms and conditions to attach to that you know there are some packages that come with heavy weights okay which requires forklift to lift them okay. those packages it means that one to we have to adjust it a bit so that at least you pay something little for the forklifting so okay. that at least we can offload it and then when you are coming for it we can actually load it to your vehicle okay. if you want to come with a crane and then pick it up fine but there are some packages that you know they are very fragile someone, someone will say you're a shipping company you're supposed to ensure my items are lifted anyhow you lift it you need to buy mind you it's also in the terms and conditions if your items are heavy items we've made it even more flexible loading it in china it you are not paying for the forklifting yeah. but when it gets to ghana we even offload it from a container we still don't take anything from you the only thing we do is when we are unloading it for you for delivery to your location that is when we charge you for forklifting so our dear viewers we are not being someone will say you are being wicked they are being too difficult we are not doing any of such we always have your interest at heart so mm -hmm. kindly ensure you and try to understand the system if you have any questions contact our customer service speak to us we would always be glad to give you every explanation you need for now we would say thank you our dear viewers for joining our episode today and also thanks for my panel members here my team members here who are always here to support and explaining things to us don't forget to comment like share our video to other people someone needs this information so kindly do all and help us share this information out to the general public thank you and have a nice day bye, bye.